Yet another what not unboxing video. Folks, I can't even lie about it. At this point, I'm addicted to the WhatNot app because, frankly, I'm a cheap ass. And I find deals on that app better than anything that I'd find in any retail shop. Frankly, I'm finding games 2 to $5 a piece that would be 7 to 10 in the stores. Uh, it, especially if you happen upon a stream that's not heavily populated. You know, you're talking like 20 or under people competition isn't particularly fierce and there are deals to be had uh, and it, occasionally you'll even find motivated sellers as well who are willing to let things go below retail now this last one was from a seller named neil nabel or nebel I, I don't know that i'm pronouncing that name correctly and last Saturday, I happened upon a stream of his in which he was selling a lot of 6th and 7th generation games. And a lot of them were going for $1, $2, and he didn't seem to mind. Well, after the third purchase, I unlocked free shipping. And you'll find that is quite uh, common with a lot of the whatnot sellers. Anyway, I ended up purchasing 20 games. And I spent after tax at $60, so you're looking at an average of $3 per game. But you have to keep in mind that there were two or three of those games in there that were $7 to $13 a piece. So it kind of skews the average a little bit. Anyway, I can't completely remember other than a ghost, not ghost, I almost a ghost rider, like a God of War, I think it was Ghost of Sparta game from PSP that I spent $13 on. But I really can't remember much else of uh, what I purchased that day because the deals were coming hot and fast. So let's uh, dig in together, shall we? Okay. I picked up, and again, all these original Xbox games, you're talking like two, three dollars a piece. Sid Meier's Pirates. CIB. A copy of Halo 3 Essentials. I only bought this because, frankly, I, I was unfamiliar with it. I'd never seen it before. Collector's edition is kind of a package. Not sure what it is. Essentials Disc 1, Essentials Disc 2. I am going to have to bust out my 360, one of like seven or eight that I own. See what this is all about, because frankly, I'm clueless. Picked up a copy of Top Spin, and I'll tell you why. It's not that I'm a fan of tennis or tennis games. Is it that right there? Kmart sticker. And I have a big gooey soft spot in my heart for Kmart. Uh, I hate that they're gone for the most part. They were a huge part of my childhood. So I will keep that one sealed just for that reason. Bloodwake, which I've owned before. Also CIB, I can tell by the weight. Rugby World Cup. Now I think this was the one that I got for $1. I got it because I don't own any rugby games and why not? So I already got Sid Meier's Pirates. Now I got Pirates, The Legend of Black Cat. Oh, yeah, Black Cat. Now this is one that I've been looking to pick up anyway, Dark Summit. I don't know what it is about snowboarding games. I think it was SSX Tricky that just absolutely made me fall in love with them. Then of course I moved on to the Amped series and I've just always enjoyed any video game that features snowboarding. I got Spartan Total Warrior, which some original Xbox collectors actually have on their hidden gems list. Never played it. Rest assured, I'm going to. Outlaw Golf 2. I'm a huge fan of the Outlaw series, especially uh, Outlaw Golf, Outlaw Volleyball. And again, can't beat the price. Now this, Full Spectrum Warrior. Again, see, I, there are things I can enjoy about a game other than the game. In this case, it has a Blockbuster sticker on it. There are a lot of collectors that hate stickers and i'm the weirdo i'm i'm the outlier i love them i 
I think they tell a story. I'm a huge fan of video game rental stickers or Microsoft store, you know, employee store stickers. Just anything like that that adds a bit of history to it. Yeah, how to train your dragon too. I think this was a $3. Midway Arcade Treasures too. Medal of Honor Rising Sun. I don't... So it doesn't have its case art, but it does have two manuals. Uh, I'm sure I can print off some case art to find one. It's not an expensive game. Fusion Frenzy, which if you're unfamiliar, is one of the most absolute fun-ass games to play on the OG, or, or on the original Xbox. Holds up to this day, as does its uh, sequel. Namco Museum. I think I said in the previous video that, or the previous, previous video, that I'm a big fan of compilation games, and I am. A lot of times they offer a great bang for your buck. Air Force Delta Storm. Another copy of Blood Wake. As I said, the deals were coming kind of fast and furious, so I didn't really have time to uh, sit there and go through, well, did I buy that? Do I own that? Just, I just pulled the trigger on. I got Constructor, an Xbox One game. Titan Quest, which believe it or not, is kind of an uncommon game. I think I only ever at retail see this game, and not very often at that, for the PS4. Uh, as soon as I saw this, I was like, Two or three dollars for a game that I know is not that common. Yeah, I'll pull that trigger all day. And then, God of War, Chains of Olympus. Not CIB, but it does have the game and it does have the case art. And it's $13. What did he see? Oh, I actually have evidence of how much I paid for these games. $2, $2, $2, $13. Two dollars, two dollars, two dollars. As you can see, I'm telling you, folks, uh, folks, the uh, whatnot app yeah, is just a spectacular and fertile ground for finding deals. Anyway, thanks for tuning in. As as always, I am begging and pleading with you. With just imagine that there are tears in my eyes. There aren't, but imagine that there were. Please subscribe. Please comment. Please interact. I'd really like to get, and a lot of you are going to laugh at this, but I've said it before, if I can get to 50 subs, that's just 12 more subs than I am now. By the end of the year, I will be absolutely tickled. Please help make that dream happen. Take it easy.